Hi guys. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, you guys are having fantastic times. This crazy times. <laughs> I got um, a notification from YouTube yesterday. As someone else, one more person has watched my video, my last video. Which um, brought the number of views to five. Which, I'm not gonna lie, was my strongest motivation of doing this video. This, this one I'm doing today. Anyway, so today I want to talk about the two U's. The two U's inside of you. There are two U's inside of you uh, there are two me's inside of this me okay so it's, it's the yin yang of creation but i think it will be much much more clear if we personalize them okay. so the first you is the you pretending to be this guy to be this physical you this first you is the one who is seen with his two eyes whenever this first you comes back to the present moment he is able to witness the space and its content alone that's the first you the first you cannot do anything outside of the present moment is the one pretending to have an ego form okay so the second you is the you inside of you that can go anywhere and be anything it is not limited to this um is not limited to this special um, environment of the first year. Basically, your imagination. It, the you inside that can just imagine to and be anywhere. And and then there is the first you. Who is pretending to be here in the physical present moment? This first you sees with his two eyes. The second you, who can be anywhere, sees inside. Now, the second you is your real identity because it is inside. That's why it is your real identity. The first you is also inside, but it is pretending to be outside. That's why it is not your real identity. That's why it's called the ego. Okay. So um, the ego has an, a sort of form, an identity, which is inside, yeah? It's inside of you, existing inside the actual you that can be everywhere and be anything. Kind of inside, it's inside like a point, inside the larger you, the you that is impersonal, since it can be anything and can be anyone, it is impersonal, and it is this because it is impersonal it can be it has it can be anyone and it is anyone so that second you who is inside of you is the actual second you, me who is inside of me is the same the same being but there's this first me who is pretending the first this first me uh, is his identity is, is also the second me because it is inside of me 
it is not actually outside it's inside so the same thing goes for everybody else the first you is inside of you as well but it is pretending to be this this physical vessel something that is unknown but it has um it has deceived itself it has tricked itself into thinking that it knows this physical vessel and the reason why it, how the way it has tricked itself uh, is by you know focusing on things that are moving outside so the society the government the religious guys tell say a lot of things and this first you who is pretending to be this physical guy gathers those things and kind of create a, you know creates a construct inside <laughs> the actual you who is impersonal who has no form Okay, so if the truth is that the first you who is pretending to be this physical guy is not there at all because it is inside the it is inside the vessel and when you check inside the vessel it is it is holding also the vessel is containing or holding the impersonal you, the one who can be anywhere and be anything, then you are not stopped to the first you who is believing to be outside. The first you who is believing to be outside is the one who believes. So maybe you have... Um, Maybe you have money issues or health issues or whatsoever. Anything that that can appear within your two eyes, eyes within your perception. So whatever that can appear within your perception, this force you gathers it as a construct. But since you are understanding that this construct is having his existence inside a second you that can be anything and can be anywhere then that construct is, is a false construct and it's not as it's not as fixed as it appears to be so you can change it without waiting for anything on the outside to change since this thing that we call outside is only an illusion. Why? Why is it an illusion? Because the guy, the first guy who is actually having the experience of an outside, is not outside, he's inside. <laughs> this this vessel, this temple, is inside the temple sleeping pretending to be something that is not okay so you are free to be anything that you want to be you are free to do anything that you want to do only recognize the two yous the first you is capable of pretense and deception it can deceive itself and it can allow others to deceive it because it is focused on the outside world using its, its five senses. But there's the second you who has the sixth sense or sensation. Who is presently, currently being everything. And it is not limited to anything. And that you is inside of you as well free of charge <laughs> you don't need to visit anybody you don't need to see anybody you don't need to you know you don't need anything to happen outside before you can before you decide to just be anything that you want to be because the two guys the two guys the one pretending 
and the real one are inside the same container okay all right so i hope this helps i will see you in the next video